In this video, we are continuing looking at the blocks in Moodle 2.0. The Mentees block will often be unusable. Mentees are possible in Moodle. For example, a parent can have a login and have their children as a mentee. This facility is not a standard Moodle role and requires administrators to set it up. The Messages block shows any unread messages from other users on the site. The My Private Files block shows you your private files section with a handy button to take you there and upload or delete files. The People block gives you a link to the participants of the course which in turn can give you more detail about which students have last accessed the course and what they did while they were there. The Personal Profile block displays the profile of the logged in user. The Online Users block shows any users who are in the course right now. The Quiz Results block can show the highest results of a quiz. It must be configured to link to a specific quiz. Random Glossary Entry does exactly that. It shows a random glossary entry from the glossary chosen in the configuration. Recent Activity displays anything that has been recently done in the course. The Recent Blog Entries block shows the most recent blog entries the Remote RSS Feeds block displays an RSS feed from another site. There is more information on how to configure and use this block in our RSS video. Search Forums allows users to search for keywords or strings in the course forums. The Section Links block provides a quick way of navigating between topics or sections within the course. This is handy if there are a lot of sections. They are condensed down to their numbers in this block. The self-completion block provides a link for students to indicate they have completed the course. It requires an administrator to enable this feature. This is how the block would look for a student. The tags block shows a list of tags that users have indicated in their profiles as interests or have used as tags in their blog entries. Clicking on one will show you all the users who have listed that as their interest or the blog entries. The upcoming events block displays events from the calendar that are coming up soon, such as assignment due dates. Remember that some blocks can be added more than once. For example, two quiz results blocks can display results from two different quizzes, or you could have two or three different RSS feed blocks in your course. Other blocks can only be added once.